Here's how you can create scribble animation in Photoshop with onion skins. I'm gonna go with this image as a reference and if you want to render the frames faster, you can scale down the size of the image. So for example, I'm gonna go down to 2000 pixels by 1100, click OK. And now we're gonna go to Windows and activate the timeline. Let's go and click on Timeline. Select Create Video Timeline and here we got the menu. As you can see here, the timeline is really narrow. So what we're gonna need to do is go down here and increase this handle. So this is going to eventually zoom in the timeline. So as you can see, we're on five seconds. So I'm gonna go and bring down the timeline all the way down to one second. I'm also gonna go here to the first second and I'm gonna trim it and delete the first one and make sure to bring this all the way to the beginning. Now we're gonna go to the layer. Let's go to video layers and I'm gonna select a new blend video layer. And we're gonna need to paint on this layer. But before we do that, we're gonna go here to the options at this little corner at the timeline, click on it. And let's go and select enable onion skins. And as you can see, the image got darker, but we're gonna go back to the options here. And let's go to onion skin settings. And we're gonna go to the blend mode and change the multiply to normal. This is basically gonna adjust the transparency of the lines that we're gonna draw. And we're also gonna go to max opacity is gonna be 30 and I'm gonna decrease the minimum opacity to five. And the rest of the settings should be on these values and click OK. So now, for example, I'm gonna draw some glasses and I'm gonna select the brush tool or right click. I'm gonna increase the hardness all the way up to 100 and I can select my graphic pad and start drawing. So we're gonna do this frame by frame and I'm gonna start with a line like this. And now we need to go to the timeline and click on go to next frame. And as you can see, it jumped to the next frame and this line became transparent. So this is great because at least I know where I started. So I can go and start again from here and make a longer line this time and go click on next and it's gonna push the frame and I can draw again a longer line. So as you can see, this is really manual going down here to the timeline and clicking on the go to the next frame all the time and it's gonna drive you mad. So Adobe thought about this and let's go here to the settings again. And here we got this option, enable timeline shortcut keys. Click on it and check this out. If you hit the right arrow, it is going to jump the frame ahead or if you hit the left arrow, it is going to go backwards. So I'm gonna go and click on the right arrow and I'm gonna go here where I left and I'm gonna go and continue the glass. So if I bring back the timeline and if I hit play, you can see it is animating. Now in order to keep this part consistent, you're gonna to need to draw every single frame. So as you can see, we're left at the 11th frame and I'm gonna to need to draw it all the way to the first second. So I'm gonna speed this up. So check this out, I created a whole animation on this. I'm gonna hit play and this is how it looks. I'm also going to finish up the left eye and check this out guys, this is how the final results looks like.